Hi everyone and welcome to the 5 Minute Fendoff. I'm Basil Zemplis and I'm joined by one of the greats of the game, Sam Newman. And Foss, it's not every day you'd see the two of us doing a show together, but here we are. No, that's very true, Baz. No doubt the honour is more yours than it is mine. Just a very obscure matchup pairing the two of us together. And when you consider also that most people these days have the attention span of a lightning bolt, I dare say it's going to be a pretty tough job keeping people engaged, Baz. Well, I don't disagree with you there, especially when I'm talking. At Rio, the proof was in the pudding. Let's get straight into our big topic of the week. It was the end of an era as the Hawthorne Football Club bowed out in straight sets. The Western Bulldogs were simply too good for the reigning Premier's Sam, and now they take on GWS in a prelim. No, they were. They were brilliant, the doggies, and from all reports, there's going to be 8,000 or more fans cheering them on over its spotless stadium, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, naturally, they would have liked more fans to attend Baz, but that's what happens when a competition is run by imbeciles. Most people, unfortunately, miss out. Well, of course, the stadium itself only holds 24,000. One man who knows all about playing at small stadiums in a final is Fremantle coach Ross Lyon, and he joins us here now. Ross, in 2013, Fremantle had to make the trip to Skilled Stadium to play Geelong. Evidently, you won that game, but overall, how was that experience for you? Yeah, it looked really intimidating. Certainly there was a lot of pressure on us to perform as well. So naturally it's always going to be a difficult assignment. But we were really confident in our structures on the day. So let's be really clear about that. Were you ever remotely concerned for the lack of support? Did it even cross your mind? I very much doubt it would. Oh, certainly as a coach, that's the least of your worries. But look, there's certainly disappointment for the fans, but we're an anywhere, anytime team, so we need to focus on what we can control, and that was something that was out of our control that day. But it's fair to say you haven't been an anywhere, anytime team this season, have you, Ross? Far from it, in fact. Well, clearly it's been a disappointing season. We don't shy away from that. I appreciate your rhetorical question, though, Sam. You haven't got any more of them, have you? Uh, No, not at the moment. But I just noticed that you were speaking in present tense and just didn't feel you've been as consistent this year compared to 2013, where you ended up in a grand final. Yeah, and clearly that's an obvious question with an obvious answer. But what do we do? We've got to get better as a playing group, clearly. But we're not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater just yet, Sam. Well, I did want to touch base on Marcus Bontempelli as well, because he was an absolute star last Friday night. Let's have a listen to Robert Walls on just how good he thought he was. Now, you've got to remember, Bontempelli is only 20 years of age, but he's such a matured player, and under finals pressure, he stands up. When the game matters, he matters. Bonts uses his body bumps Hodgie out of the way and takes a very good mark. He goes back, kicks the goal, no-nonsense celebrations afterwards, just says to his team, let's go back into the centre, boys, and kick another one. In my opinion, it was a key moment in the game, and by gee, if you're any other player watching on, you'd be saying, what's Marcus Bontempelli having for breakfast? Because I want some of it too. He's an absolute champion. Well, there you have it. Robert Walls certainly on the Bonds bandwagon there. Sam, do you agree with Wolsey? Is he a champion player just yet? Uh, No, very good comments there from Wolsey. He's like an ageless dinosaur, that man. Just doing absolutely beautifully. Uh, But no, I'd agree with him. I think he's a great young player who's going to propel that team into a very successful era of football. If not this year, then in the years to come. Very well said indeed, Sam. It's just about time we wrapped up. Thank you for joining me today. No, you're more than welcome, Baz. It's been a very enriching five minutes, this. I couldn't imagine being anywhere else. Indeed it has. Well, we do hope you've enjoyed the five-minute fend-off. Good luck to all the teams participating in this week's prelim finals. Hope your team wins. From all of us here, it's bye for now.